Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, today got a couple of shop visitors in and we're gonna be doing a little project that I think is neat and I think you guys will enjoy too. So I got two gentlemen with me. They're both uh, volunteers with the Museum of Aviation at Warner Robins Air Force Base up in Warner Robins, Georgia, just south of Macon, correct? Right. And uh, they've actually got a project. They're actually restoring, cosmetically restoring, not for light worthiness, but a, uh, B-17 bomber from World War II, correct? B-17G, yes. Okay, and we got a part we're gonna be helping them on today. They've actually done most of the machine work. I've only got one little thing they want me to do for them, but uh, I thought it's a neat project. I'm personally a World War II history buff. Love the aviation from World War II, so it's really, really neat to me to know that I'm gonna have a very small part in, in helping with this restoration. But anyway, y'all tell us a little bit about the aircraft and about your museum, and then we'll get in here and show you the project. Okay, the Museum of Aviation Warner Robins, I, I can't tell you exactly how old it is, but it's been there at least close 20 years, I expect about now. I've been affiliated with them all for about four or five years. Uh, we're working on a B-17G, as I said, currently, restoring it cosmetically, as you said. Uh, we'll get the outside all finished got it all polished up, all the engines and props are installed. And we're currently working on the interior with the uh, electrical, the radio, uh, comm stuff, and flight control cables, trim cables, all those sorts of things. And then we got to put the throttle quad to put the cockpit back together, along with all the auction system. So it's going to be another several years. There's four or five people currently involved, you know, ball volunteers, there's nobody on salary, that sort of thing. But we have a lot of good, a lot of good times, a lot of good interesting conversations, and a lot of good projects. And my friend Russ here, uh, he's been uh, most helpful in, in terms of making small parts for us and pieces as, as he has with this tail lock. So uh, it, we've called on him numerous occasions to bail us out when we need something made machine-wise. Okay, so tell us about yeah. the part here okay. that we're working on and uh, we'll get you a close up of that in a minute, but okay. uh, tell us about that. This is a tailwheel lock assembly, the, the tailwheel free swivel normally. So for takeoff and landing, you lock it in a straight ahead position. And this is the, the lock assembly that goes into a notch on the, uh, the tailwheel and locks it and keeps it from turning. And the original one was beyond any hope of use, even cosmetically, so I've been uh, using original World War II B B-17 drawings and uh, machining a new one. Great. Now you said the original one was steel, right. but you guys opted to go with aluminum on this. It's just not going to be put into right. use just from the ease of manufacturing. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Very good. So anyway, let's uh, let's zoom you in here on this part, and uh, we'll tell you what we're going to be doing with it today. It's fairly minor, but something that they couldn't do themselves, and right. hopefully we're not going to have any problems doing it. So we'll bring you in here and show you that. So guys, this is the part that he made. This is actually the original part made out of steel. And this piece is not finished yet. As you can see, he um, made this in one piece and he's gonna actually, I guess, mill that out. Drill it and mill it. The, the flange. Uh, the original one uh, was, it was the flange was just welded on, uh, but he decided to do it in, in one piece, which I think is kind of neat. And our job is we got to put this uh, square hole in here. We got to drill a square hole today, <laughs> which is always a challenge, but uh, we got the tool for it, uh, which is this brooch. Basically what we'll do is we'll drill this out. He's already got it drilled. We're gonna have to make it a little bit larger hole uh, for the brooch. This brooch is a three quarter inch brooch. It needs a 13, 16 inch pilot. And basically it'll start out round. And as you can see, each one of these is just a little bit larger. And as you push that through, you end up with a, a square hole. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So anything else you wanna say about that or? No, it should be uh, fairly straightforward. It's just brooch of this size isn't uh, in everybody's toolbox. Yeah, this is uh, uh, something that is not everybody has for sure. I've got, a, I've got several square brooches and I've used this one several times for some projects that have come up before. So I sourced one for a job at one time and it gets used periodically. So yeah. nice to have it. This is interesting here. These are the original uh, blueprints, uh, which you said are all available online. Yes. Okay. So someone took the time and, and scanned all the, the original drawings from Boeing. So it is nice to, to have, have that. So yeah. Very good. Let's uh, go. First thing, like I said, we got to do, you drilled this to what? 0 0.8. 0 0.8, and we got to go to 13 sixteenths, uh, which is 
0.8125. So we got to take 125 thousandths. I'm just going to run a drill bit down there and yeah. uh, we'll just expand yeah. it out just a little bit. 12 and a half thousandths. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're, you're right. You're right. Catch me on my math there. Yeah. Oh, um, I do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so 12 and a half thousand, just a little bit too small. So we'll, we'll, we'll uh, re ream that out or board or just use a drill bit to take it out just a little bit larger. And uh, we should be able to go to the press. And with this being aluminum, uh, I think it'll press pretty easily. I did look on the specs. It's a fairly, how deep is the? That? Uh, it's about an inch and a half. Okay. And I did check the, the, the specs for this brooch as far as what they say the maximum depth that it'll broach. The problem you run into when you're doing a deep brooch is, is that you have multiple right. teeth in contact all at one time. And it just takes more and more force right. to be able to push it through. But being aluminum, I think I don't think we'll have a problem with it. We'll see. We're going to find out. All right. All right. Let's go get that drilled out. So we got our drill bit in here and I've got this sitting over here in my my vise and what I've got is I got a V block that will hold it 90 degrees square going up and down and I put a parallel up underneath this to set it on there to get it square in this direction. So everything should be square. And the other thing I've got is I've got everything a little bit loose up here. Everything's not real tight and uh, what that will allow is that when we start going in that hole, it'll kind of find its center. I've got it pretty close, uh, but it's got enough play in here that everything will move around. It's not locked down uh, to go in there. So let's see, I want to get this thing, figure out what speed I want to run. About 350 is probably fine. Let me turn my face converter on. And we'll just go right down through there. Not taking out much, so, oh. My um, my Morse taper got loose in there and fell out. I just put this chuck in, so um, it hadn't gotten good and tight yet, and I didn't get enough pressure on it to get it good and tight. But that'll that'll pull out right there. All right, that should be it. We're over here at the Arbor Press now, and what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna take this brooch and we'll use this press to push it down through. So we should be able to kind of get that started down in that hole we just drilled. I am gonna really lube this thing up. It just works better if you got plenty of cutting oil on it. In this uh, aluminum, it's probably not gonna be as critical, but you can never go wrong with cutting oil, so. And I've got a slot down up underneath the bottom that that should fit right down through. And, yep, that's going down that pilot hole, lining things up. Let me grab a rag. And we'll just take her away here. So far, it's cutting pretty good. Hadn't got down to the meat of it yet, though. You could use a hydraulic press for this. This arbor press is more than sufficient, particularly on this aluminum. Oh, 
I've reached the end of my stroke. We're gonna have to raise the table up to finish this up. No big deal though. So I raised my table up and I'm just gonna put a little push rod in here to kind of take it that final little bit. And we'll continue on. Can you put that down? I don't want this brooch to fall out the bottom whenever I get there. Yep. That's it. All right. And square hole. Yep. Beautiful. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you drill a square hole. You drill a round hole first and then you broach it square. You have to cheat a little bit, but uh, that's gonna work out real good. And uh, there's a little uh, pawl that fits down in there. So let's see the original one first. I'll show how that works. But this, uh, basically there's a little piece that goes up in here and and uh, this engages, I guess it's, is it spring loaded or? or yeah, the it... spring that goes inside like the cartridge here. Yeah. so. And I guess you pull something or whatever, and it will release this, and then go back in there and index in there to catch uh, yeah. where it goes. So there you I go. Have. All right. So yeah, there you go. There's a this plug goes in the back. You got the spring in there, and then uh, this will be on there. And there's actually a push rod that comes out of this, and he's going to remake all this this uh, mechanism here. But uh, uh, there you go. That's kind of how it works. So pretty cool. And there you go. Voila. Pete Keith, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you One very much. B17 yeah. part. Yes, sir. Right. Come see us at the Warner Robins. I'd like to invite all your viewers to stop by and see us. And if as anybody well. wants to come visit there, uh, where is it? How do you know all that? Or off your right, head? It's, <laughs> it's right next to Robins Air Force Base. If you find your way to Robins Air Force Base in Middle Georgia, we're geographically in the middle of the state. Right. Right off I 75, about five miles east of I 75. Can't miss it. It's a really neat museum. I haven't been there in probably 15 years myself, and I need to get back up there and see it again, yeah. but uh, very well done uh, yeah. museum. Lots yeah. of good things. Lots of really good things yeah, in there. So. For sure. Well, it's been my pleasure to be able to help restore a historical artifact such as the B-17, and I wish you guys the best of luck with the rest of your project. Thank you. Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Great thank seeing you, you guys. Glad you came down. Okay. All right, guys, with that, we're going to sign off. As always, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, thumbs up, comments, greatly appreciate those. Leave those in there. You guys are going to have to watch the comments because there may be some questions for y'all that you may need to answer because I won't know the answers to some of that stuff. But uh, uh, leave those comments and, uh, and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Big thank you to all the Patreon supporters and other guys who support the site. Uh, greatly appreciate the, that, and we couldn't do all this without you. With that, guys, we are going to sign off. Again, thanks for watching.